Hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I want to briefly talk about how to start your search for PhD programs for mathematics and how many grad schools should you apply to. So the best place to start your search is to look up the NRC rankings in mathematics. This gives you like a list of the top uh, grad schools. I'm pretty sure this list hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, but it's better than nothing, and it's a starting point. So you see Princeton is number one, Berkeley is two, MIT is three, etc. So anything here, in my opinion, in like the top 50 is super awesome. If you can get into uh, any of these schools, um, that is absolutely life-changing. So this is a good start. I'll try to remember to put this link uh, in the description. Another place you can go to is here, the Annual Survey of Mathematical Sciences. It's published by, um, I guess, by the AMS. And there's a bunch of links here, and I'll put this link also in the description. And you have a couple choices. You can click um, Group 1 Public, Group 1 Private, and then Group 2, and Group 3, and Group 4. Obviously, you want to try to get into uh, one of the Group 1s. So, um, for example, Group 1 Public uh, consists of these schools here. I was fortunate enough to go to one of these schools, and um, I applied to like 17 schools, and I got into only one of these. Um, so it's pretty tough to get into one of these. So if you get into one of these, um, wow, um, good work. Um, if you go to Group 1 Private, uh, you have these here uh, as well. So anything from Group 1 um, should be your goal. So how many schools should you apply to? I'd say as many as possible. I applied to 17. Um, you do have to pay every time you apply, but you know this is your life you're talking about. You're going to be spending uh, a lot of time uh, in graduate school. Uh, this leads me to the next uh, point I wanted to make. Um, where you go in particular is really important. Uh, don't just apply to a bunch of schools because they have um, fancy names, right? Um, you're going to be living um, where you're going to grad school. So let's pick a grad school here uh, at random. Let me find one. Let's try uh, Oregon. I have a friend who uh, got into the University of Oregon. He didn't go, but he did get in. So let's, um, let's look at it. So I'm going to go to Google and type in University uh, University of Oregon Math. And so you should do this for every school you're considering. Just be resourceful, right? It's so important to be resourceful. So here it is, Department of Math, University of Oregon. And the most important thing uh, that you care about is obviously, you know, the quality of the department, but how much they're going to pay you, right? They pay for all your tuition, it's all free, uh, but how much will they pay you? Because you want to make sure you can live comfortably uh, while you're studying math. You want to be comfortable um, so you can study. So let's go to graduate. And let's see, prospective students. So I'll click on that. And financial support. Let's see what this says. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you see the bold words full tuition waiver. This is absolutely expected uh, at every uh, grad program. And here we go. There's the salary you would get uh, for a nine month period. Also, you get health insurance. So you get a full tuition waiver, health insurance, and that much money for nine months. Okay, so is that enough to live, right? I mean, because you probably won't be able to work. Uh, it goes on to say something else here. Um, I won't read it. So let me type in uh, University of Oregon Math. No, University of Oregon Graduate Student Apartments. Let's try that. So can you afford uh, to live here? So let's try this generic link. So usually each school has uh, like a website where they talk about like student housing. Sometimes um, it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. So homes for everyone, uh, starting at six twenty-five per month. So, um, so you might be able to find something here. Um, there was a link I looked at earlier. I think it's this one here. This one down here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, Graduate Village. I thought this was nice. Um, so studios from six seventy-seven, one bedrooms for seven fifty-eight. So. Um, you can you could you could afford it. You could go to the University of Oregon. You could get a free education. You could get a PhD in math, and you can afford to live on your own in a nice environment in the beautiful state of Oregon. So, all you got to do is do some research. Uh, and again, a good starting point is to look at the NRC rankings and also the Group One private and Group One public schools. I hope this has been helpful.